One of uh, our good friends, Hogs, is to live with him. He has an Excel spreadsheet on his computer where he works as a kids' book salesman that just has ideas. Yeah. Got XLS. And uh, it should say millionaire ingredients. Yep. Dot XLS. Absolutely. Because this, uh, you could take this, that spreadsheet to the bank mm. and get a loan <laughs> on it. You could use that as collateral. That's yeah. an asset. That's... He has so many brilliant ideas, mm. none of which yet have become successfully commercially available. But I think that's to do with his commitment, not the ideas. <laughs> a but... lot of the time you will find that even if an idea is sound, mm. his gut will go cold. <laughs> yeah. uh, Haim, um, in exchange for getting to peek into this Excel file, we agree that we will read them out. Uh, or give him the chance to pitch them on yep. this show. But as long as people are ready to invest on 131060. Yes. And look, I think it's only fair as potential investors of this they product. They can ask a few questions. You can ask a few questions, figure out what you're getting your nest egg into. He joins us now. Hogs, are you there? Oh, yes. the whistle. So far, the people... only trademarkable invention, <laughs> the whistle. People run, Hogs, uh, for their checkbooks when they hear that. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it's, it's the like same a sonic trigger. It's the same noise as a cash register <laughs> opening to a lot of people. It's the noise that just means money. How are you, mate? No, not bad. Yourself? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. Very good. And thank you right. again for the pizza night, Monday night. Right? No we were just discussing that uh, not a lot of pizzas were made by yourself, but um, a lot were made in the house and it was your house. So that kind of counts as you having a pizza night. Well, I, I invited you over for pizza night. I didn't say I was going to make the pizzas. Hogs, question for me. Uh, did your fiancé at all have a word with you after we all left? Like, come on, you should put in a bit more, or has it just come that going out with you, that's pretty much the level of uh, input? She's pretty much used to it now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, Very Hogs, good. Australia is waiting with bated breath. What have we got this week for the invention? Well, I, uh, I've, what I have realised over the last few years is that, um, you know, uh, nuts, like peanuts and so on. Yeah, I know nuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, you, uh, when you eat them and yeah. they you know, get, get digest or they're meant to be digested, they don't get digested at all. Yeah. They just go straight in uh, into the intestines or whatever and uh, into the number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously this has got... Uh, already I can smell uh, medical backing on this uh, by the use of the phrase intestines or whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah, have, yeah. So they have don't you get noticed back. that, that they, they do end up in the two? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're what's From known t- as a tracer food. Corn is another one. Corn, um, yep. yep. Uh, they'll end up, yeah. And, and, and what's the significance of the fact that, that uh, nuts don't properly get uh, digested? So what I've realised is that, see, you, you look on the uh, the calorie count on a packet of nuts, it might be, say, 150 calories. Yeah. It's not. You're only eating about 25. <laughs> You're only eating the outer layer of calories? <laughs> exactly. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right? So nuts are a lot better than what you think they are. Yes, okay. Right? Yep. They're a lot better. So hmm. what I thought I'd do, the invention is chalk nut. Right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put chocolate all the way through the nuts. The nuts is gonna taste superb because everyone loves chocolate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, you know, 125 calories, incorrect, about 10, 15. <laughs> well, Hawks. Hang on, Hawks. I mean, hey. so many questions. So many questions. Well, first of all, you know that chocolate nuts have been invented. I mean, scorched, scorched almonds, <laughs> Cadbury is all over this. No, no, no. See what, see, what they do there, they put the chocolate around the nut. The yes. chocolate goes, all that chocolate goes straight to the, the fat cells, straight to the hips, right? Yeah. Where I'm putting the chocolate, I'm putting the chocolate all the way through the nut. Where? <laughs> <laughs> where are these nut, where are these cavities that you can fill up with chocolate? Well, we're just, you know, it's just like injecting something into, you know. With what? A nut needle? Yeah. <laughs> so Pretty, you... Look, it's, it's just going to be laced with chocolate. But how? How do you get chocolate inside so, the nut so in several layers? If, if, you have to if, take if, apart the nut and rebuild it. Well, that's, that, you know, we'll do whatever we can. <laughs> we'll do whatever we have to. You don't. You can't we'll say what we it takes. when you don't have a team. There's no, it would take about an hour to do a nut. We'll people do are what it takes. People, people are calling in thirteen ten sixty. We've got a couple of questions. We'll get to Tim first. Thirteen ten sixty. Tim, as a possible investor, what's your suggestion? Hawks, great idea. But what I think we need to do is bring the cocoa plant and the nut plant together 
and f- cross pollination, cross fertilise, and I, I, then I think we're on to a winner. So you think br- you think it's possible to uh, make a you know cross breed two plants to get a, a cocoa nut tree? Well, that's that's the plan. Yeah, that's Tim, the idea. Do you have any uh, scientific uh, backing in this? <sighs> Probably as much as Hogs has. Because <laughs> it does uh, does remind me a lot of one of uh, Hogs' other inventions, which is uh, just keep sheep in a paddock where they all they eat is mint, and then you'll have pre-minted Brilliant. lambs. Brilliant. Brilliant. And that's Tim. no different to pork and, um, and apple sauce. Just feed pork, <laughs> pork apples. <laughs> just feed cows tomatoes. So when you make pies out of them, it's pre-sourced. Tim, Tim, up, fr- Tim up front, what, how much money would you be prepared to put on the table? Well... Um, I think it's becoming my idea. Idea, so fifty bucks. Geez, yeah, I would. I'm thinking, you know, fifty cents. You know, yeah. What yeah. about fifty dollars, Tim? T- if you had, if you had a twenty percent share in it, if it gets off the ground, would you put fifty dollars oh, in de- now? Def- definitely. Hawks, yeah. would you take that? Yeah, I'll take the fifty. <laughs> God, this is high-powered business at its best. I bet this is exactly how Richard Branson does it. Oh, Tim would want to see results because what that sounded yeah. was like, oh, I'll have you. Got two, two guys that know nothing about science, one of whom's now got 50 bucks off the other one. Zach, Zach on 13, 10, 60. Zach, tell us, hey, mate, um, what, would, you, what would your suggestion be? Well, I was thinking, instead of using peanuts, you could use walnuts because you could put the chocolate through it much better with a walnut. Yeah. Hogs, there's, what do you think about that? There's more cavities in a walnut, Hogs. Yeah, so that's uh, that's getting somewhere. Okay. See, see what, what happened? See, Snickers, Snickers, I think Snickers might have thought of the idea, <laughs> but they didn't put the chocolate in the nut, so they put, they put the chocolate around the nut. Yeah, no, Hogs, people have been combining nuts and chocolate for a very long time. <laughs> you are not the first. You are not the first, and people are doing it for flavour reasons, not to protect exactly. the chocolate from the your digestive tract. That's where they're going wrong. Okay, okay. Lisa. I think Lisa, I think Lisa uh, has an issue with your invention, Hogs, and I wonder if it's the glaring one that no doubt everyone's thinking. <laughs> Lisa, what, what's your problem with it? Okay, well... I think it would be great if it was true that they went all the way through your body without being digested. Yeah. But I um, are people just going to have to swallow every single peanut whole? Because as soon as they bite into the peanut, the chocolate's going to come out and then you've got your face with all those calories. She's got it. Org? <laughs> no, no. Now yeah, I'll thought about this. Sorry, uh, No, no, no. Don't say sorry. Say sorry after this, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hear what, it all. Uh, see, what I don't understand, yeah, I chew. I chew as much as you, right? <laughs> but for some reason, I've got full nuts coming out. What, they're putting themselves back together? <laughs> well, well, maybe you're no, just, it's I, just you. I, I, do, I do agree that they do get smaller and so on. Yeah. But there's still a lot of chocolate inside the nut that you're not getting to. But, Hawks, the point is, if you, the whole point of eating chocolate is to taste it. If you're hiding it inside the nut <laughs> and not letting it out, you won't taste it. So what's the point of eating it? Because it's, kind of, it's, it's all in the mind. I'm eating so much chocolate oh. here. <laughs> Why don't you just wrap chocolate in Glad Wrap and swallow it? Not a bad one. Not a not bad, bad one! one. Oh, no, man. it is a bad one! <laughs> we'll That's leave not it a there. good idea for an invention. We'll chat to you next week, Hawks. <laughs> Hamish and Andy.